Hey friends, it's Gardener Sydney and I am back out in your school garden. I have some really exciting new changes to show you and let's go check them out. The garden is starting to tell us that it is spring, that we are getting ready to plant and can start growing food again soon. Let's go see what's up. The first thing, one of the things I am most excited about is this plant right here. This is spinach. And this is spinach that has actually survived all winter long in the garden. It was a little baby plant. And now that it has started to be warm again, it is growing up. So this plant will keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger until we have some spinach that we can take home and eat. It's really beautiful. It's very curly. It's very thick leaves and I bet it would make a delicious salad. Another thing that is just starting to pop up in our garden are our spring bulbs. We have flowers starting to come up. Let's get a closer look at them. Around all different sections of our garden, we have spring bulbs planted that are starting to come up and give us beautiful flowers, like this yellow flower here. It's not quite opened up, but they are definitely coming up. We also have this one. I myself am not quite sure what this will be, so I guess we will have to wait and find out. There are white flowers and even more coming up all over our garden bed here. Flowers in our garden not only help keep it beautiful, but they also help us get pollinators. That's why over here we have a whole garden bed dedicated to pollinators. Let's look at the, some of these plants. At the back of our garden bed we have some snapdragons. Now these can survive through the winter and should start to turn green pretty soon. We have this, which is white thrift. You can see an old flower it had on here. And then we have some plants that we can touch and feel, some sedums. Here is one of my favorites. It is just so bright and beautiful and it changes colors all throughout the year. Finally, another favorite of mine is our garlic. So you can start to see all of these different garlic shoots here. Let's look at them. Our garlic scapes are coming up out of the soil. They have a really nice smell to them. It smells like garlic, but a little bit more gentle. There are some really little ones and then some ones that are getting pretty big. Our garlic will keep growing until about July when we can harvest it and eat it. And as a last stop on our spring garden checkup, I have something very cool to show you. This garden bed here, which right now doesn't look like much, but we are starting to get it ready for spring planting. That's why I have our compost. At the King School, our soil is a little bit dry right now. It just needs some things added to it so that our plants can grow nice and big and healthy. So that is why we use our compost. So our compost is very dark. We can even compare it to our light soil here. It's very dark, it's full of nutrients, and once we mix it all in, our plants will be very, very happy. So sometimes we get compost like this from bags at stores, and we also have compost bins that help make us compost. So we can take plants and things we don't use from the garden and turn it into good soil for our garden. As in the winter, we still have some of our winter rye growing. We'll leave this growing up for a while longer in some of our garden beds, and some of them will start to give it haircuts and mix it into the soil, which will make the soil lighter, more full of air, and put back in some organic matter. So that was our quick checkup of the garden. We're gonna start to see a lot more things happening in the next few weeks. We're gonna start to see pea plants grow up, radishes, spinach, lettuce, all of these different things that we can start planting in our garden beds because spring is on its way. I am so excited to show you planting, show you growing, and hopefully we can do some of that stuff together. Thanks for joining me, friends. I'll see you soon.